Howdy folks, this is Brad Royball and we are going over the first part of Project Unit 4, um, which is guess my word. So uh, a few things of setup that I've done so far as you can see on the screen. Um, the first thing I've done, so for the project we're basically assembling or disassembling something on screen so that the user can see basically where they are as far as completion. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Grievous from Star Wars, the basic idea is he has four arms and he wields four lightsabers. So as you can see in this first picture, all I did is I went into paint. I imported this picture right here, this full one, um, and then basically went through and deleted a lightsaber just by painting a white box over it for each one. Um, so the whole point of the project going forward is going to be that each time a user guesses a word incorrectly, Grievous will gain an arm until he has all his arms, and then he will gain lightsabers until he has all four at which point the user loses. Um, another thing that I've done, of course, is set up an assistant and a host, as you can see here, you see here from my two different sprites. Um, and this one simply is C-3PO's head, and he's gonna be kind of the host throughout the game. And then, I'm sorry, he's gonna be the assistant, and then General Grievous will be the host. Um, another thing that I've done, and they, they walk you through this in the project document, so don't worry if you know you're, you're unfamiliar with exactly how this is done. I've imported uh, a list. So as you can see, I, I've created this variable, imported words. And if we click, we can see it has a whole bunch of words in it. And I then set word list, which is a variable right here to split the imported words by line. And the reason we're doing that, even though it kind of seems like a silly step, is to be able to work with those words uh, better moving forward. So I've set that words list to splitting those imported words by line. And then I set the guess word, which is going to be the word that we're working towards to a random item of that words list, right? The first thing that I'm going to do, I've already selected a random word. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, pretty straightforward is I want to create a placeholder for that word. Um, now, of course, there's a bunch of ways that you can make your project, but what I wanted to do is create a custom function that creates a simple variable that has a bunch of underlines in it. And if you watch the project demo, you'll know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to call this custom block, create placeholder. And the basic idea is that we're going to iterate over the guess word that we've just created. So if I click plus, and then we're going to put word in, is that I will take and put in an underscore for each word that we're working with. So here I'm going to variables. I've already uh, put word placeholder right here as a variable. So I'm going to do set placeholder. I'm going to set it to nothing initially, just so I have it set up. And then I'm going to a for loop, which is for i equals one, two. And then I'm going to go to operators. I want the length of the word that I'm working with. So I am going to use put word right there. And then I'm going to set my variable now instead of a blank to joining an underscore and the word. So if I do word placeholder, I go to variables. I put this right here and then I put an underscore, I'm sorry, a space and an underscore. So as you can see, I do play a space and underscore and that's pretty much it. So if I click OK and then I click cancel right there. If I go place word holder in and then I take guess word is the word I'm going to be inputting. You can see it's worked right there. Now, of course, I want to show that word. So I'm going to set up a right now, something that'll come in handy later on, or at least for right now, is a broadcast message. So I'm going to broadcast and it's going to send game start is what I'm going to call it new game start and then I'm going to go to my assistant and I'm going to say when I receive game start I want to display that that word that placeholder word so that I don't tell the use of the word of course so I'm going to go for let's say five seconds right now Click variables, put word placeholder right here. And now if I go ahead and start the game, you can see C3PO displays the length of the word in this case, which is embodiments, right? So that's how you set up the first part. Um, again, guessing the random word is, or getting the random word set up, it's pretty easy. You just wanna select the random item of a list, which we've seen a lot of times over this unit four uh, work. And then we want to create a placeholder for that word. 
So we have created the uh, placeholder for the guest word and we've set the guest word up and we've broadcast the game start. We've got all our setup. We need to start figuring out how to ask and how to check and how to do basically our game logic, right? So I'm going to set up a loop and it's just gonna be a forever loop. It's gonna be down here for now. Um, my forever loop and I'm gonna add a comment is going to be our main kind of game loop. And that's what I'm gonna call it. Main game loop. Um, another thing we need to do right now though is I basically, and the way that I set up my game is that I wanna create a placeholder, or not a placeholder, but I wanna create a list of letters that I'm going to check my final word against, right? Because every time we go through, we want to ask for a letter, we're going to take that letter in and we're going to check it. But I don't want to check against that word list every single time, right? So what I'm going to do is create the um, answer list. So I'm going to call this one create answer list. It's going to take in our word and it's going to create an array of letters for that word. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to give it an input, which is going to be a word. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to do basically the same thing that we did before which is going to be, um, I'm gonna say for i equals something to, I'm gonna go variables, length of word, operators actually, length of word, I'm going to add a word to my list. So I'm gonna create real quick the answer list as I call it, or I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna call it the master list. I'm gonna click okay. And as soon as it creates it, I'm going to say, um, I'm basically going to say set answer list. And as soon as I find it, or sorry, master list to add. And if it lets me, oh wait, nope, I'm going to take this out actually. I'm going to say set master list to nothing initially, or I'm going to set it to a list because I want it to be a list of words, not just a regular word. And then I'm going to add the item I of word to my master list. So we go up here, click right there. And then I'm going to say, um, I want to add the item. That's what I want. So I'm going to say, um, actually it should be letter. So letter I of word. To master list. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that's going to create a master list I can check against later so I can kind of treat it like a list and, and less like a, a word. It's a little bit more confusing to use a word for me personally. I'm going to set that right there and then I'm going to bring in, if I go to variables I can find it, the create answer list and I'm going to put guess word into it. So now if we go ahead and click you can see it's created it and we've also got a master list that contains all the letters in the word. It's gonna make it really easy to check later, but the next thing I need to do, and I'm gonna make this a control block, is I need to make a block and I'm going to call it ask for letter. I'm gonna put a two in because I already have an older one in here from a previous try. I'm gonna click plus and I'm going to uh, put in, actually, I don't even need to take any input. I don't believe I should just be able to click okay. So now I'm gonna bring in ask for letter and that's gonna be pretty simple. Um, I'm going to click stop real quick. I'm going to make a variable and that's going to be guess letter, right? And I'm going to make guess letter. Each time I go through this list, I basically wanna set that guess letter to nothing initially. So of course we use our set block. Oh, and you can see it's right there. So I'm going to right click say not that one i do want to get rid of that and i want to use ask for letter two because that has nothing in it i'm going to right click click edit i'm going to set guess letter to nothing i want to ask the user for a letter i'm going to say what letter do you guess and i'm going to duplicate that Get rid of this. And I'm going to set guess letter to the answer as soon as I can find it right there. And that is going to allow us to check and see what the user is inputting. So if I click OK, and now if I go ahead and click Start, you can see 
Grievous asked me, what letter do I guess? And that is going to be the end of our first part of our unit four project. Um, you know, we've, we've set up our list already. So we are in a really good place. We have a placeholder to show the user. We also have an answer list that's going to come in handy later. Again, you can do this where you're checking and you're iterating through the word each time we're using our operator box right here. So you can say like length of word, letter I of word, and you can check that way. But I found it much easier to use a list that we can iterate through later. And uh, please tune in for part two of the unit four project.